So I'm installing the actuator that I just put new seals in. There's a couple of things I want to go over. This hose, the, this hose is very brittle because, and the only way you're going to get these on and off is use a heat gun on them. Heat gun on this. Another thing is, uh, this is that cap that I had such a hard time getting off. Underneath that cap, you know, you pull, you pull this off, you pull these lines off, these fittings, these four bolts, this housing comes off. Then you take this nut off, left-handed thread nut, you take that off, and you can pull the piston apart. There's bolts right here hidden. You can see them there, but once this is out of the way, you can loosen them bolts up. The key thing, the thing is, is there's underneath this plate, is the bearing that uh, that seats the bearings and everything. The bearings are very expensive for this. They're like, I don't know, $800,000 for a couple bearings. Here's the thing. This this hose, this this is made, this this is made to recirculate oil into your bearings. Your hydraulic oil on any machine is lubing your bearings and your actuators. This is one of this is almost as expensive as a spindle if you got to replace it. So change. There's a reason they say to change your hydraulic oil every 2,000 hours. That's because you're lubing the bearings in the pump itself, the hydraulic pump, and you're lubing the bearings in your actuators, south spindle, main spindle. Do do what they say. Change your oil regularly. Hydraulic oil. Those, those bearings and those actuators are very expensive. That's it.